A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed this parable, What man among you, having a hundred sheep, and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert, and go after the lost one, until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy, and upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins, and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord Searching Carefully the scene in the gospel opens with tax collectors and sinners drawing near to Jesus. The scribes and Pharisees object strongly. What scandalizes them, as noted by Pope Francis in his reflection in this passage, is seeing Jesus going to lunch and supper with publicans and sinners, talking with them. In response, Jesus narrates two parables showing how God seeks out the lost. Francis notes, Our God is a God who searches. His work is to search, to go out searching in order to invite them back. Our God has a certain loving weakness for those who are farthest away, those who are lost. He goes and looks for them. And how does He search? He searches to the end until he finds the lost sheep. He is our Father.